Here's what happened. Iran launched dozens of missiles towards Israel on October 1, in what it said was a response to the killing of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and others in Lebanon. The missiles had to pass through Iraq's airspace to reach Israel. Air France Flight of 662 flew over Iraq when an Iranian attack on Israel began at 4. 45 p.m. the plane left Iraqi airspace just before 5 p.m., although Iraq didn't officially close its airspace unt until 5.56 p.m. Air France suspended flights over Iraq starting at 5 p.m. due to the detected missile threat. But here's the deal. The FAI prohibits us civilian planes from operating in airspace over Iraq, Iran, and the waters of the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. Generally speaking, many other countries follow FAIA advisories, since they believe the information is based on intelligence that the general public is not aware of. So when Air France ended up in Iraqi airspace, an official probe was launched in France. On this particular day and time, the airline said its jets were already avoiding Israeli, Lebanese, and Iranian airspace, and that flight at 662 was flying through a special corridor used by all airlines. Some hours before the strike, the White House said it had indications that Iran is preparing to imminently launch a ballistic missile attack against Israel. Thus, the scramble for commercial airlines begins, and Flight F-662 ended up over Iraq. Please read the following information.